Folklore Thursday The Magic of Apples There is so much fascinating folklore surrounding the marvellous apple. Here are just a few of them. Apples are associated with wisdom, guidance, love, beauty, immortality and divination. In Norse beliefs, the apple was the tree of immortality. The goddess Idun was the keeper of the apples, which she fed the Norse gods and goddesses to keep them young forever. To find out the first initial of your true love, you must peel an apple, keeping the peel in one long continuous piece. Once you have done this, throw the apple peel over your shoulder and whatever shape it lands in is the first letter of your true love's name. In parts of ancient Britain and Europe, people would go to apple orchards on Christmas Eve carrying cakes and cider. They would put the cakes in the tree branches and throw the cider over the tree roots. This was to ensure a good harvest the following year by blessing the trees. To ensure fidelity, give an apple to your lover as a gift. You should eat one half and the lover the other and you will be bound together in love for all your days. At midnight, cut an apple into nine pieces. Take these pieces into a dark room where there is a mirror. Eat the apple pieces while looking into the mirror. Once you get to the ninth piece, Throw it over your shoulder, and the face of your true love should appear in the mirror. In Polish folklore, the apple tree was a dream tree. It was believed that sleeping under an apple tree could induce vivid and prophetic dreams. Any apples that have been left unpicked on the tree after Halloween must be left there for the spirits. Ancient magicians like Merlin were said to carry a silver bough from the apple tree hung with bells and ripened fruits that allowed them to cross into other worlds and then return to ours. Unicorns have also been associated with the apple tree, whose fruits they are said to heartily enjoy. According to ancient Greek mythology, the god Zeus held a wedding banquet and many of the gods and goddesses were invited. However, the goddess Eris was omitted from the guest list, for she was the goddess of discord. Not one to be snubbed, she came to the celebration anyway and brought with her a solid gold apple to be presented to the most beautiful woman in attendance. The goddesses Hera, Athena and Aphrodite immediately stepped forward to claim the prize and it therefore fell to Zeus to decide who should receive it. Zeus, however, passed the decision to a Trojan mortal named Paris, and Paris decided on Aphrodite because she'd promised to use her powers to give him the world's most beautiful mortal woman, Helen of Troy. Aphrodite kept her word, but unfortunately Helen was already married to a Greek king who was not pleased about her being given away to somebody else. And thus it was that the Apple of Discord is said to have caused the Trojan War.